Welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. Today we're here at the Fair Trader at the Bitten Dog Sector. I lied. I said we were going to be uh, looking at the contents of a chest in the Seagate Sector. Well, I lied. The only thing in that worthless chest was an iron ring and one gold. So that takes the new record for most worthless chest ever. Anyway, I've been hawking these Ismali Poison Daggers to to every merchant because each merchant will pay a higher price if they don't have an item. So each merchant gets one of them. So for this, we get 2,276 gold. That's a lot of gold. I've also been selling all the stuff I found in the sewers. Oh, and that sailor was wearing an enchanted leather jerkin. 3,900 gold. That is a lot of gold. Look at all that gold we have. 62,000. And if you check this out, Look in the inventory. It's starting to get heavy. We, Jeshara has 20 large flawless diamonds. That's two pounds of diamonds she's carrying, and it's only going to get heavier. But for now, it's kind of sort of under control. Um, oh, and we also found a shield ring in that room. And the shield ring, we look through this massive library of potions. It adds to the defense of the wearer, so with two luck rings, James has a defense of 130. With a luck ring and a shield ring, he has a defense of 140. So, it's better than a luck ring. Lucky though they may be. So I'll give that to William. And now, inventory games concluded, we will proceed to the Northgate sector, where we're going to be doing something. Well, really there's only one reason we go to the Northgate sector these these days. It's to visit the Priest of Prandur, who mysteriously does healing in this game. Apparently it doesn't matter what what priest it is, the Priest of Lim's Kragma could heal you if, if you went to her and said, I'm hurting. There's the townsmen that I'm gonna kill soon. And they trespass in some room. You're here again? A curse on all you treasure hunting fools! We're sorry, but we need some help. Too many have been dragged from the sewers already. If you need help, go find a surgeon. Or perhaps a temple that caters to madmen. <laughs> this guy is just too much. Go on now! Don't stand there bleeding on the doorstep! <laughs> Thank the God you're not more treasure hunters. Too many people have been dragged from that thrice damned sewer already. What of the other temples? Can they not help? All have been exhausted, I hear. Except for the Ishapians, and they're closed up tight. Is there anything we can do? There's a drink from across the rift from that uh, Kelawan place. They call it Choka, and it is said to revitalize the spirit and soothe the nerves. If you were to acquire it for me... Where can this drink be found? The magic shop will have it. Bless you, and please hurry back. Well, there you go. He wants us to get us something. Go on now! Don't stand there bleeding on the doorstep! He wants us to get something for him, and he says it can only be found in a magic shop. I don't know of any magic shops, do you? No? No magic shops in the Rainbow Parrot Sector. No magic shops here. None in the Poor Quarter. None in the Seagate Sector. None in the Palace Sector. In the Wealthy Sector, there's all sorts of shops. There's this armor shop that we've been to once before. There's this shop. Jars, gems, and luxury goods. It's closed. And there's one other place among all of these various doors that can't be opened. I'm not talking about this room. We can go in there later this place here, the Golden Grimoire. 
We're from the city guard! We were sent by the priest of Prandur for aid. He is healing many wounded and insisted that the cure for his exhaustion is in this shop. My apologies, but you can't believe the number of damn fool treasure hunters who tried to break in here tonight. Now then, what did you need? The priest wanted something to revitalize him. Something called Choka? Does this have anything to do with that attack at the gate? Why is it free? You've heard then? It's all anyone's talking about. Huh. What else have you heard? I hear a great deal, Squire. What exactly do you wish to know? I wish to know about your lovely accent. We seek a man called Bear. We believe him responsible for the trouble tonight. Ah, well, that's no surprise. You know him then? I know of him. Would I did not. Why's that? Oh, a demon, that one. A violent soul with an awful temper. A thief and a murderer. Are there any other magic shops in Grandor? <laughs> None of any repute. Well, if they're not of repute, then I guess we just can't buy anything from them now, can we? Ah, uh, I hope I'm trapped. Alright, well, there's nothing in here. Bottles. I can't see where I'm going. Where am I? Thank you. And we actually have to get out through here? Come on, I'm just trying to leave. Wow. Um, and there we go. What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Ah, uh, Chaka. An herbal remedy for exhaustion. Are you sure it's not chocolate? Uh, and it looks just like a regular flask. Hey, I just had a thought. Is it worth anything? Oh, come on. I want to see the shop. What if I try to sell it? Sell it? Yes, yes. Well, the shop refuses to buy it. It's your loss, buddy. Anyway. I should stop wasting time. I just can't help it. Let's rush over here. Deliver this poor man his chaka. Let. Once he drinks chaka, let. He will feel better. A sailor? A sailor's getting into trouble. Acquired Golden Granite. Prander's blessing upon you. I'll have my acolytes brew me a cup immediately. We were wondering. Uh, before you speak, let me caution you. I don't want to speak to you then. You that wait, I needed healing. <laughs> we're in need of your services, Father. All I did Breath of dragon, blaze of sun, that round mid chemia in circles run. Blah blah blah. We're healed. All right. Great. Cool. Wonderful. So, probably the most obscure quest in the game. All right. I like how the fact that the building burned down shows you more of the sky. It's pretty. I don't know why I'm running around. I should use the map. I've got a date with the sewers. I'm not carrying a lot, am I? Well, James is carrying 45%. That's just because he's carrying plate armor. <coughs> huh. 
All right. We're not having a conference here. I'm gonna... Um, I don't know. I don't think it matters which way I go. I think I went this way last time. Just knew I'm gonna run into some more ambushes and horrible poison dagger men and who knows what. Oh, what's this all about? Oh, no. Well, they don't have hoods and poison daggers, so that's a plus. No, you bloody idiot, he wouldn't hide it in there. It's full of raw sewage. There's the beauty of it. No one think to look for it in there. The old drunk thought it was east of here. That way. That way's the monster, you fool. It'll eat you for sure. Did you really see this creature? You think I'd be here talking to you if I'd seen it? No, I heard it splashing around. Maybe it's guarding the treasure. Who's that? Gods, it's a damn city guard! Of course they'd be here. The prince wouldn't let this bigger treasure go to the little guy. Wow. Uh, alright. This looks like a long conversation. What are you men doing down here? We might ask the same of you! We'll have none of your lies. Tell us what you know about this treasure, or you'll be spending the next week in jail. You try getting tough with us, and you'll never leave these sewers alive! Alright, enough of that. Let's speak of other things. Alright. What do you know about the creature that roams these sewers? Hey, it's bloody huge! Things got teeth a foot long! Things got teeth a foot long. Uh, it'll rip your arm off and... <laughs> it'll rip your arm off. Use, Use it, it for a toothpick. toothpick, it will. Helpful. Never mind, then. Let me ask you something else. All right. Go ahead. Man, this conversation is giving me a headache. What about the muckers? Bloody thieves got their old territory sealed off, promising death to any trespass. Never mind, then. I don't think I believe Let me you. ask you something else. All right. Go <sighs> ahead. What about Lucas from the Rainbow Parrot? Have you seen him down here? Down there, the man. What's he look like? Lucas is an older man, slight of build and losing his hair. He owns the Rainbow Parrot, the tap room near the jail. Never heard of him. We seek a man named Bear. Do you know him? What's he look like? Uh... He's a big bastard, bald with a full beard. He's probably wearing some kind of amulet around his neck. Never seen the man. I don't think I believe you. You calling us liars, boy? Uh, yi, 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 yi. Never mind, then. Let me ask you something else. All right. All Go right. ahead. You men are searching for the pirate's treasure? None of your damn business, Keshian. We'll have none of your lies. Tell us what you know about this treasure, or you'll be spending the next week in jail. You try getting tough with us, and you'll never leave these sewers alive. Well, anyway, I don't think I can have any of these guys' lies. They just keep lying to me, and the more we talk to them, the less information they divulge. So, it's probably going to end violently, but we won't know for sure until the next episode of Return to Crondor. See you then.